here at uh, Windpole Estate. It's just uh, south of Cambridge, actually. Now, I've already been on site for about, geez, three hours. Um, the main house is that way. Probably a kilometer, actually. A thousand meters. I've walked around the, uh, the house. Um, and the farm, they got loads of farm animals. Now I'm just walking up across the uh, across the fields here. I'm going to walk up to this little castle up here. It's called the Folly. Go check it out. So yeah, here we are. We're at the furthest. Uh, possible location from the Wimpole Estate house. Um, I've walked all the way through the house, out the other side, and up onto the hillside where the folly is here. This is the old ruin. Have a quick look around here. Check it out. Nice little archways. Sadly, can't get inside, the uh, door's closed. Was it be nice to get up into that tower, actually? Check this for a frame. It's one interesting ruin. Here I'm inside a... I don't know, what once was maybe... Uh, a tower with a staircase or something. Pretty destroyed. This is pretty cool. the main house. show it Duxford which is just down the road I was gonna stop there actually on the way here I saw the signs for it uh, but this was the mission objective so I abandoned potential game there's planes flying over to the main house now. It's pretty cool though, you can see, I don't know if you can see the, the Spitfire over there actually, still doing aerial uh, acrobatics. The walk on the way back is pretty fantastic as well. Down towards this beautiful lake. coming down to the lake now and there's a beautiful uh, wooden bridge that's been built to, to get you across it. 
I'll show you this now. geese out on the uh, on the lake there today as well. I'll try and find a nice spot and see if I can get some some shots. So I'm going to go and uh, disrupt the, uh, the geese over here, actually. Why not? It's a beautifully uh, tranquil afternoon. I'm going to go and feed their, their roost. Spike a bit of excitement. I sound quite uh, massively outnumbered. And you do you do realise that there are some uh, some places that use these as guard guarding animals. It can be quite uh, it can be quite dangerous. I'd say. It appears that I'm causing a bit of turmoil. Bit of a dance. It's like, come on, get in the water, guys. Come on. I think that's enough, actually. I think I've caused a bit too much of a stir, actually. A bit of bug out. Don't want my license revoked. Okay, still walking. Actually, uh, getting a bit of a sweat now. I don't know if you can see that in the background there. That's the distance I've done. Whew. Yeah, topography is quite, it's quite difficult, I have to say. Um, some beautiful uh, scenery still around me. Got some lambs over here. to another bridge and the Wimpole House. I'm gonna walk through this field now with a sheep. Rammed by these, eh? There's the house coming up.
I'm just coming up to the uh, the boundary of the estate now. Uh, got a fantastic uh, kept gardens on this side actually, just the other side of this tiny little wall here. I don't know what that would have been actually. It looks like, in terms of line of sight, if you look all the way down this avenue, and then we switch complete 180, it's still tree line down this way. So I don't know if this was uh, perhaps some sort of roadway, maybe, Let's see this thing here? Maybe water, I don't know. To be honest, I don't care. The estate is absolutely massive though. Not just the fenced off area, I mean the fenced off, uh, you know, kept garden is huge. The, uh, the land and surrounding the estate is uh, just as vast, I don't know, um, just stretches off into the distance all the way around. I uh, don't know exactly how large it is. Okay. Oh. Come around to the uh, front of the house now. Freaking huge. Now I've already been inside. The, the original main house was built in 1600. Um, and I'll show you what part that is now. The larger part here, so the middle section of the building, that's the original uh, building. And then through the years, over the years, through the uh, different owners, extensions were, were added on. So this section here was an add-on, as well as the other side, because it's a, a mirror image. And then there was this section here added on again, same as the other side, and that goes back as well. That's a, a library. It's uh, amazing inside, actually. They just kept adding to it, making it bigger and bigger, as if it wasn't big enough to start with. Um, huge maintenance issues. Another hugely uh, impressive thing though actually when you walk up to the main building on this gravel path and then you get dead centre and then you look out this way you see this avenue of trees all the way down as far as the eye can see pretty much. I mean this was a vast uh, vast estate Still is a vast estate. It's even got its own church over here as well. I'm heading back now. It's got a walled garden which I've had a walk around. That was amazing. I'll take you into the church as well. This is it through the uh, through the fence. Okay, I'm in the uh, Wimpelow State uh, graveyard. Got their own graveyard and church or chapel. It's called a chapel. To be honest, if anyone knows actually the difference between a chapel and a church, let me know. Well. 
who's this one? Ah, this is a chapel. So it says, in this chapel are depofited, depofited remains of Philip Earl of Hardwick, who was born at Dover in the year 1690, called to the bar 1714, chosen into Parliament 1718, appointed Solicitor General 1719 to 20, Attorney General 1723, promoted Chief Justice of King's Bench and created Done some impressive stuff, this guy. I mean, look at that, it's a burial site. It's pretty impressive. So much so I'm getting at. Just arrived at the Indian order. Back at the entrance of Wimpel Estate actually. As you come round from the car park, we're then greeted with this like pretty fantastic courtyard. And they've got some shops here, do some flowers, do some books, coffee, sandwiches, pottery, other collectibles. Seal them out of it. I'm gonna go see if I can get into Royal Duxford the airship. Time now is 4.30. There's no chance of that actually. Yeah. Interesting sight, enjoyed it. I'll have to uh, bring the family back next time.